Hey, Scott from Aristocob.com here. And Seth from TheShrinkingPastor.com. Together, the three of us, we are Mark with Men's Breakfast Club. Welcome back once again. Good morning, boy. Good morning, Homer. So, uh, it's Tobacco Advent. We're counting up down to Christmas. And I hope that you have been enjoying this along with us. And today, we're going to smoke some tobacco from a gentleman named Jeff Madre, known as the, the, the letter J Madre on Instagram. That's how he connected up with us. Um, I'm interested in this tobacco, so uh, Jeff, why don't you tell us a little bit about it? Hey guys, the tobacco I sent you is Cornell and Deal's Golden Days of Yore. The video of them building the sauce looked great. The ten notes great. I'll leave it up to you to see how the flavor is. I was a little disappointed. But anyway, hope you enjoy it. That's a, that's, that's a lot. That's a lot less than he told us about it in his letter. Yeah, that's uh, <laughs> that's here. Let's let's look at that real quick. Yeah, we actually. should. We should. Uh, so he includes. So this is a Cornell and Deal's 2015 Holiday Blend, Golden Days of Yore, and he includes a description from Smoking Pipes. You can look that up. Um, but it sounds pretty good. It sounds it's got a whole bunch of stuff. It uses words like Cavendish, Virginia, Kentucky, Katerina, more. Um, and he says, uh, now that your hopes are possibly as high as mine prior to smoking this blend, let me temper that optimism. <laughs> While the tin note is incredible, at least to me, it doesn't seem to transfer to either room note or taste. A very slight hint of the sauce comes through, but it seems to be almost entirely tobacco flavor. I think it works okay as a Virginia blend. Uh, he also said this is the 2015 holiday blend that he only opened it last week and oh, wow. uh, was, uh, was, had been looking at it for more than a year and found that it can bite your tongue um, and so he struggled to keep it lit but said to leave it to us to decide so thank you okay you know why Virginia's can bite your tongue tell me Virginia's are naturally high in sugar they're one of the one of the few tobaccos that's naturally high in sugar yeah and so just as with anything that contains sugar that you burn that uh, that translates into stuff that will burn your tongue. Okay. And again, the the tongue bite that we get is more chemical than actual temperature. Right. Right. So, um, the, some of the key things is make sure that it's not too dry. Make sure it's not too wet. Don't draw too too hard on it. You know, if uh, you packed it too tightly, by all means, loosen it up a little bit. Don't don't force that smoke out because. Then you'll get this little jet of smoke right on one spot on your tongue. Not good. So, all right. Well, we uh, get this lit. Jeff, why don't you give us our question of the day? Thanks, guys. My question to you is, if you can spend Christmas Day with any TV family, which one would it be? Well, for me, the answer is easy. It's the Kardashian. No, no, not going to be the Kardashians. I'm picking The Sopranos, and here's why. You start out with some nice cold cuts, you have a big Italian meal, sit down afterwards, have a nice cigar, maybe a VCR falls off the back of a truck, but Christmas Day is not long enough that you're probably going to get whacked. So anyway, that's my choice. What's yours? Okay, that's a good question. Um... I have mine immediately, so. Oh, do you? Yeah. Yeah, although I questioned it for a second because uh, my backup pick was going to be the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. You the know that's going to be awesome. That'd be uh, the cartoon yes, character, it would be. yeah. Um, you're gonna get, you know you're going to get pizza and get to see some awesome uh, ninja kicks. But I think my, my number one pick is uh, the Bluths from Arrested Development. <laughs> and if you haven't seen Arrested Development, do yourself a favor and watch it. It is so good. It's, it's just so good. It is hilarious. The the, uh, the Bluth family are absolutely dysfunctional and uh, their dysfunction, I think, would be hilarious to watch for a day. In fact, I can tell you it's hilarious to watch for a day because I have binge watched the show for full days on end. Um, it's worth it. I mean, this is this is tough because if you really give it any consideration, if you think past your quick response and what would be fun or funny, they're messed up, that family, right? Absolutely messed up. And I think of, oh, it'd be great to spend time with the, the Seinfeld crew. 
No, it wouldn't. Not in real life. Man, those guys are, are also in, incredibly selfish and... No. Although, again, funny to look in on them. You, if you're there just for a day, I think of it more as, as an observational exercise. Are you guaranteed a, a that they'll all be there? Are you guaranteed that there will be feats of strength? If, <laughs> I mean, I mean, you know... If you're celebrating Festivus, if you're there, you are. If you're there at the right time, you could celebrate several holidays, right. including Festivus. Right. Uh, and, and if you're doing that, then absolutely there would be. Um, heck, you could partake in the airing of grievances. You better that, believe that, I would, would be participating in that. Yeah. Um, I'm struggling keeping this lit. Are you? Yeah. Hmm. Um, let's see. So the... Uh, the nostalgia in me would think uh, maybe somebody, a family like the Waltons. Um, there's the, uh, oh, Happy Days folks, you know, with the Cunninghams. But again, you have to pick the era just right because, That's true. you know, I, I'd want it with, uh, with, with cute Joni, not, uh, not cute Joni. No. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. You didn't watch it enough. You're absolutely right. Um, hmm. Breaking Bad. That'd be fascinating. You get pizza if you can get up on the roof. That Yeah, but how old is that pizza? <laughs> you know what I, I did today? Uh, I just started watching Better Call Saul. Oh, did you? Yeah. I, I've, I've watched episode one and half of episode two before the kids woke up, and I had to shut that down because it is not child-friendly. What do you child think of Michael McKeon's show. character? Uh, well, there's not. He's not been there. Oh, he's not on there yet. Enough, okay. really, to yeah. Or oh, that's right. Because they're because they're showing Saul's just complete. Everything is falling apart. He's working for a law firm, and he, no, he well, he is has his own law firm in the back of a shop, and oh, so they has, haven't done the backstory on that yet. How he ends up in the in the back of the uh, no the fingernail salon. No, um, he's just <laughs> there. He so. So where he is now, he's in the desert, actually. So he's been taken to the desert um, by, by the by the, the, the no by the uh, the gang members, the drug dealers. Mm. Who oh, was, that's he, right. He tells him, "If you're my, uh... I I haven't gotten to that part okay. yet. Although I know that part's coming. I know that part's coming. Yeah. Is that, so uh, Chuko is that his name? I don't know. But yeah, uh, I'm an episode and a half in. It's good so far. I know I like it. I love the character from from Breaking Bad. Uh, but no, I wouldn't want to spend a day there. All right, I've, I think I've bought myself enough time. I, I think I would really enjoy going and spending time with the Cunninghams, and especially if uh, if some other of the characters were involved, which they often were, right? Right. Arthur Fonzarelli is going to be there. Sure. For sure. Um, um, I wouldn't mind if Chachi were there. I'd have a real problem if Spike were there. Um, yeah. Um, no problem with leather Tuscadero. I have no interest in pinky Tuscadero. Yeah, so maybe I have to make a list, figure out exactly which episode I would yeah, want to is, be my Christmas. This is, this is a Christmas. Uh, this is one of those wishes, those genie things, where if you don't get it just right, put in the right fine print. Oh yeah, you know, then Mary Beth's going to be there. Yeah. And yeah, uh, yeah, Mary Beth's the worst. <laughs> she took Richie away. I mean, yeah. Uh, you know what's funny though? We both chose a show with Ron Howard. <laughs> I that seems perfectly normal to me. Yeah, uh, Ron Howard produces and narrates uh, Arrested Development. That's true. You won't ever see him hey, in there. And Arthur Fonzarelli and Chachi were both on there. Uh, yes. Blah blah blah. Um, yes. And Could he jump the shark that one time? And the Fonz. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Arthur Fonz Oh, yeah, yeah. Fonzie. Yeah. Fonzie jumped the shark on Arrested Development. Yep. Oh, what a clever show. Yep. And uh, <laughs> to tie it in with Ron Howard, um, uh, Matlock makes an appearance as well. Andy Griffiths is there. <laughs> and they, Sheriff they, Taylor, you mean. Sheriff Taylor. Yeah. Because Andy, uh, he would have had, as Matlock, would have had no connection to Ron Howard. Uh, no, but I but think he that he, have. I think that he was playing, I think he was playing Matlock. I think he was playing a lawyer. <laughs> or, okay. they, or they were going to have him show up, and, uh, but the trailer that they had to offer him was a log cabin. And, <laughs> and 
he didn't appreciate that. He thought thought that they were making fun of him. <laughs> and Ron Howard was clear, no one is making fun. <laughs> Watch the rest of development, you'll think. Yes. What do you think about the tobacco? Uh oh, the I've smoked it. Some I mean, I've smoked a lot of tobaccos that were designed to commemorate a holiday. You know, McClellan's has done a lot of Christmas things. Um, I, I have had several pounds now of um, the stuff from uh, Strauss that they bring out. What do they call that? That's terrible as much as I've smoked of that. Um, dang it. <laughs> I don't know. It's Resolution is what they call it at the end of the year when they change up the tobacco but leave the... Golly. Anyway, the point is, there's nothing special about that. You know, I did that the smell and the ingredients list would make me think that that would have some interesting um, fruity, nutty, you know, Yule loggy kind of flavors going yeah. on. I got I got a one one draw. I got a very slight hint of of almost like a cinnamon flavor. And that was it. As far as any sort of holiday flavor. All right. You tried this? Did you like it? Um, how about you and uh, your Christmas day with a family on television? Who would it be? And um, what's the name of that tobacco I can't remember from <laughs> Strauss? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, all right. We're going to wrap this up. See you again tomorrow. Thanks Happy for Tobacco Advent.